Hey, what's up? It's Slim, and I got a gameplay commentary here for you that I played not too long ago. I was running twos with Celtics, who we were no mic in it. I was just chilling, had my shades on, you know, just trying to go in solo. And we're on Wastelands. This map is uh, kind of pretty trash, you know. It's a sandbox map, but it's on top of that, it's one of the worst sandbox maps. But starting things off, typical sandbox fashion, you want to nade the hogs, but... I guess it wasn't that serious because none of them were going for it, but, you know, just wanted to blow it up. You never know. They might use it. And right now, I'm trying to make a push for this bubble, waiting for my shields to come back. See, the, the door is open for overshield right here, so I'm pushing for it. Throw it. Can I get this overshield? Now, this map is usually uh, pretty fast-paced for the most part because the overshields come up every minute from the time you grab it. And right now, I'm just trying to be really aggressive with the overshield and get in their base. And hopefully my team will push up. But uh, as you can see, I heard someone pull out their AR. So I was a little paranoid. I, I kind of forgot that that guy ran under the stairs. So right now, I'm just kind of trying to be a distraction for my teammates. Hide in the base. Hope, hoping my team is going to push up and get control of their base. But obviously, they aren't doing any of that. And I get picked off. And I see everyone just chilling back you know watching the action so i was just like whatever i guess i did all that got the lead so i was like oh let's try running a hog you know which is on this map it's kind of it's kind of pointless because there's rockets and it's it's just like there's a missile pod it comes up really frequently and i was trying to signal one of my random teammates to get in and i didn't have the balls to drive because i didn't want to be that guy that like drove out and drove over a pebble and flip us over like eight times and we ended up getting a double kill like I just didn't feel like being that guy so I ended up getting in the, the gunner and obviously my teammate was a terrible driver and we get taken out really easily they got overshield it's up every minute and obviously we're not there so things aren't looking too good off the start right here we got rockets up on our side we won't be able to get them I get killed, our rockets and bubble are up, they're in our base, just absolutely, it's a massacre. Now, uh, trying to clear them off our side right now. There's a little trip mine right there, just ignore it, hopefully my teammates didn't run into it. I should have helped Celtics right there, but, uh, I thought he had it, but I, we probably should have just 2v1 them to make sure. Now, his team, other team is pushing up already, back in our base, just keeping us on that pressure, because if they keep us in our base they'll be able to get the overshields and I get cross map with the rocket that really surprised me because you know usually you don't think people can see you or they usually forget about you when you hide behind those little uh, blocks and obviously they did not and they took me out which was a really smart play on their their part so good on them and there's a camo on this map it's out in no man's land it's kind of just there for show if you if you if you have con control of the map, you can get it, but you really it, it, it usually isn't a factor in this game because good 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 games people will have control of the map, and if you go for camo, it's usually just a death sentence. So right now we're tied, but things start to get a little hairy. It overshows up again, and uh, I think right here it turns into a bit of a stalemate for it. It's kind of just you go for it, and it's just, they're kind of just baiting baiting it right now. And you typically want a bowl shield to go for it when it's uh, when people are out and about. So everyone's waiting for that bubble shield. See, I get rockets, and now I, I'm getting pressured. So I'm trying to stay alive, Gandhi hopping, doing everything I can to eat some shots. And now we're just waiting to see who's gonna go for the rockets. I think I, sh I shoot a couple of uh, just across the map rockets here, and I, I hate rockets like. I am absolutely terrible with rockets. If I get rockets, I'll usually get, I'll usually rocket someone in the air and they'll BR me when they're in the air when I'm trying to wait for them to touch the ground again. So I'm the last person you want ro picking up rockets. So having them, I'm just trying to cross map people, like get them around the corners. See, these are just pretty terrible rockets, but things were stalemate. I kind of lost faith in winning after like right now I was just like trying to try everything to get things going you know I didn't want to risk dying so I just threw my bubble I didn't want to get picked off again behind that block so I see this little this little little, little fella over here trying to hide shoot a terrible rocket <laughs> and that was completely short I hear a freaking terrorist rocket RPG behind me 
but luckily I, 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 I walked away from that and trying to throw some uh, some terrorist mines out there we're out in the sand you know Afghanistan tons of explosives on this map let's get Marvel he gets the overshield no problem so I was like all right that's Shut a minute fuck up, dude. no gameplay and I, I hear someone on the I other team eating, so right? yes. <laughs> he comes in the game chat to talk some trash they're probably arguing about him and he comes in lets them know he has a mic but uh I thought that was pretty funny and they're being really aggressive with their uh, overshield and rockets but luckily I got a, a nice little grenade kill on him Try to throw some nades between the blocks to kill this kid. Being really aggressive right now. Trying to get something going for our team. Managed to clean him up, which is really nice. And you can see this team was really aggressive. They're pushing up. I, I, I don't know what I was staring at right there. Clearly he was on my radar, but I never expected someone to have camo on this map. So he caught me off guard like that. Luckily, my team is running a nice hog, and they uh, managed to create a nice distraction in our base for these people. And I get a nice double kill on these two people in our base, which is huge. It kind of... The momentum was shift, shifting to their side a little bit, but right there, it kind of evened it out again. But still, things get start to get hairy. Our hog gets taken out. They might, they're going to get this overshield again. Again, it's up every minute, so they were on that kind of forget about it because once you pick it up it's already once the overshield runs out it's practically going to be up again in like 30 seconds but i managed to trade on the overshield right there which was really nice and uh as you can see they're just they're just really aggressive against us which is what you want to be on this map a good team shot is what you want you want to just stay in the little power positions and just peak shot everyone and just slowly clean everyone up control the bubble shields I get cleaned up right there. Right here was, was where I was kind of losing faith in my team. I'm not one to give up, but when you're searching solo, it's kind of kind of hard to have faith because you don't know what your teammates are gonna do. You don't know their mindset for winning or anything. So right here, I was just kind of just like, oh, we probably lost this. It's a sandbox map. There's really like no major power weapons that can sway your victory. So I was just like. Trying to play a little passive, you know. If we do lose, I at least want to look good on the stat sheet, you know. So I'm trying to sit back a little bit. Notice the overshield is going to be up. Or it's up already, but we got to make a play for it. Hopefully we can win. I think right here, I just made a YOLO play for Camo. I was just like, we lost already. Let's see if I can grab Camo, which I did and just ended up dying. So I kind of gave up. So I was just like, you know, whatever. Went for the Camo. You know, sometimes stupid plays can uh, push your team over the edge, push your teammates over the edge, you know, something unique. And I was hoping for that. It didn't work because clearly my teammate was still in, the, in our base. Luckily, uh, we get some kills right here. 37 to 30. They're three kills away from 40. What, sometimes once you see that 40, you kind of just lose hope if you're down by like 10 kills. They only need 10 more. Like, you have to play near perfect to win at that rate. And, uh,. My team starts to push out a little more. They kind of play a little more passive. I think that's kind of why uh, this game swayed back into our favor. Is throughout the whole game, they were just playing really, uh, putting a lot of pressure. And uh, I think if they kept playing that way, they would have easily, easily blown us out. But for some reason, they changed their play style. And, uh, or I think our team probably just, I don't know. I think a Christmas miracle happened. Even though it's not Christmas, but you know. Right now, I'm just trying to play passive, you know. The score is 40 or 32. I don't want to give up any dumb deaths because they only need 10 more kills to win. And I see uh, they're starting to push up a little bit. I see Croce here trying to power drain him. The bubble's up, and I was just kind of like, I hope he doesn't get that bubble because, you know, he can easily push up with that. And luck, I think we cleaned him up right here. I get a nice grenade on him. Yep, I get a nice grenade to kill, kill him, and uh, our bubble shield's still there, so. Overshield's up, trying to keep an eye on that. You can turn your back for one second, and they can easily make a push for that. So right now, I'm just trying to put shots on everyone, you know, help everyone out. I'm trying to just, again, stay passive since the game's about the end. And uh, I was trying to make a cheeky play, but I kept missing the... Uh, the terrorist mine right there but luckily i get a trade on rockets and i see my teammates are getting a hog right there is kind of where i was just like maybe we can win this since my teammates are trying to you know run a hog 
I think right there, he probably could have gotten overshield, but he didn't want to risk it. So luckily, my teammates get in a hog and are a huge distraction. And uh, since it seems to be like they're all looking at the hog and shooting it, I go for camo, and I was really scared. Like, really scared I was going to get lit up, because that can happen. So uh, I start to be aggressive with these rockets, because I got camo. Celtics, pretty good hog driver, I think, and uh, doesn't run me over, thankfully. Gunner gets a nice shot to help clean it up. I'm going to push for overshield and push into the base to keep the pressure on them. Help out the hog guy, you know. Smoke out the weasels, you know. So, uh, threw a mine right there. Luckily, it bounced off of his power drain and kind of just made it roll back down to him. Right here, I was trying to help my hog, and I was like, oh, no. And I thought he was going to stay in the gunner, so I ran over here to start driving him, but he got out. So I saw the nade start flying, so I just use this to drive to the rockets and bubble so i saw i saw it up and i tried to help out the lemmas right here but shot a rocket because i saw that guy running around so i was like all right that's a nice kill and it scores 49 to 48 and i'm trying to be in the base and get these last cute <clears throat> these last few kills with the rockets and i start to reload and these guys push me together which was like really smart but i threw a nice nade that managed to blow up the bubble and back them off and I get one bad rocket, a nice good rocket, and now the score is tied and I'm trying to stay alive. I see the dots just slowly starting to come towards me, so luckily I don't know who got the final kill, if it was a BR or a hog, but thankfully they were they managed to kill them before I died, so yep, that's how you uh magically come back on that map. So uh shout out to Celtics, that was uh those were really fun games that day. This was probably like two, three weeks ago. We were searching solo. We had some really close games. I think this was after that, my previous upload on Citadel, where we also won 49-50. to 50. But, yeah, these were really fun games. Uh, I had 22 kills. It did not feel like I had that much. But, yeah. yeah. Anyone still watching, like, Halo 3 content, I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next upload.